Good morning and welcome to Budapest. We are setting out today, going to see some of the major sites and attractions around the city. We're gonna start off, I think we're going to Fisherman's Bastion first, along the Danube River. We're gonna to head to the Buddha Castle. We're gonna eat some delicious market food from the Central Market Hall. Very excited for that one. And we're also gonna set out to do a cruise along the beautiful Danube River tonight. We've heard so much about this amazing city. I love about European cities things open a little bit later the mornings are quite sleepy very calm pretty quiet getting up early and trying to beat the heat and the hordes of tourists as well love that about Europe it's a very multicultural city as well there's so many different cuisines on every shop, on every corner. A lot of Asian food, a lot of Middle Eastern food. Steve said that it reminds him a little bit of Melbourne. Didn't you? Yeah, it reminds me a lot like Melbourne. Lots of different coffee shops, really good coffee. I think some of the best coffee we've actually had so far while we've been in Europe. A lot of vintage shops, it's quite hipster. I think that's where you're getting that Melbourne vibe from. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> like that North, <coughs> North Melbourne Fitzroy, um, kind of vibes but also it's got it's very European with its architecture it's got some of the most quirkiest unique architecture I think I've seen we came walking down this part yesterday and we came across this awesome building I don't know what it is I will look into that but the architecture I've never seen anything like it it's not a conventionally beautiful building like that you'd find in Lisbon or Prague or Paris but it is so unique it's very quirky I'll show you it's just I don't know it just it's so old there's something about that building that I really like anyway we're heading to the Metro Underground to get a train to the Fisherman's Bastion and Buddha Castle as I think it's about two kilometers from our two or three k's from our hotel and it's really hot so we are opting to go underground these are the quickest scariest escalators I think we've ever been on they go so fast and they're so deep underground they actually make my head spin looking down how deep they go. Yeah, he I've was... Got to, I've got to just look down so I don't feel sick. We were on here yesterday and he just kept saying that how sick he felt looking up and down and had to like focus on the actual like step. Just the floor, the non-moving part. Really efficient train system, underground system, trams in Budapest. It's a massive city, so I wouldn't expect anything less, but it's, yeah, everything's on time, clean, modern, really good. Coming out of the other end of the train station, the, probably one of the most impressive buildings I've ever seen in my entire life. The Parliament Building. which we'll get a much better look tonight on our cruise. Yes. Apparently it looks spectacular. The other yeah. Night. So on the way to the Fisherman's Bastion, we've come across the other side of the Danube River and Budapest is actually divided by the river. And you've got the Buddha side and the Pest side. Had to stop because I was so out of breath. So on the Buddha side, which we're on now, it's very hilly. So we're actually just walking up a hill now and... Yeah, the Pest side's flat. The Buddha side is hilly, very mountainous, hilly. All right, we're gonna keep walking up this hill. So we actually don't know where we're going. We're trying to follow Google Maps, but it is leading us in a few different directions because it is quite hilly and there are quite a few different, oh, we've come to the right place. It's right there. <laughs> Woohoo! It's just behind some trees. Oh. 
I love doing that when you are just walking around really obscure places and then you turn a corner and what you're looking for is right there. And you can't miss it. It's like a hundred meters in the air. Fisherman's Bastion is a place that you'd come really early in the morning or late at night. It gets extremely busy. It'd be really good for a sunset or a sunrise. It looks over the city, so it's absolutely stunning. It is, it's really lovely. But I think we are just walking through a massive tour group. I think we're gonna head to the Buddha Castle next. Um, it's not too far, I think it's about one kilometer walk. So we're just leaving Fishman Bastion now. It's completely free to enter. You can pay an additional, I think it was 350 Australian to go up on top the upper towers, really just to get, I think about five meters higher and to get away from yeah, the crowds. An unobstructed view. It looks like to be a funicular to take you from the ground up to the castle, but we're just gonna walk. Yeah, it was 750 Australian dollars return to get the funicular. Um, but yep, as Steve said, we're just gonna walk. We need the exercise before lunch. Check out how steep these steps are. We're about to go up them. <laughs> Buddha Castle is perched on the southern tip of Castle Hill. It was built between the 14th and 20th centuries. It is now home to the Hungarian National Gallery. We only spent about 20 minutes here wandering the grounds as it was very hot and little shade. So we're heading back down the hill. We're gonna catch a bus and head to the local market or the central market now. Yeah. I didn't realize, or we didn't realize, it shuts at three, so we've only yeah. got a couple of hours. It is just after lunchtime and this place is super busy. So we've got a traditional Hungarian langos. So it's essentially fried dough with sour cream, grated cheese, and we actually got red onion on it as well. So excited, we're so hungry. What's the bread? Is it just it's fried? fried? Yeah, it's just fried dough. I love that. Oh, that's so good with the cheese and the sour cream and the onion. Such a good combination. It's not dense, it's quite light. So we found out the best way to eat it is to fold it over like a huge taco. All right, that was the entree. Now we're going for the main course. I think we're gonna try and get some Hungarian goulash. We went to order two things and somehow we've got these monstrosities. They all came with sides, which we didn't know about. So we got the stuffed cabbage. I don't know what it's stuffed with, but I love stuffed cabbage. So we got that with a side of cabbage. She upsold us, whatever. And it looks like a sambal. It's not sambal, obviously, but it looks like that. Spicy, tomato-y sauce. We also got the Hungarian goulash with red cabbage and oh, I can't remember what she said these were. They're little were. dumplings. Oh, little dumplings, yeah. yes. Much like what we had in Bratislava. Yes, 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 like tiny little dumplings. So I'm going to give the Hungarian goulash a try first. Because that's what we came here for. That's why and we came here. somehow we ended up with all this. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it wasn't cheap either. This was about maybe 35, 36 Australian dollars. We were under the impression that it was gonna be like street food, cheap kind of prices, but all right, let's give it a try. But it's a lot of food. Mm. It's cold. I saw it put in the microwave. Yeah. Mm. It's really nice. Oh, such a good balance of flavor. I would really like it to have been hot. It's cold though, which is, so it was sitting in a bain marie, which is fair enough. And then we saw her put it in the microwave. So I thought that it would be hot. Okay. Even cold, it is my favorite thing. That's even better than the langos. I could, 
Oh, such a good winter dish. Ooh. And summer. <laughs> oh, it feels firm. Looks firm. Oh, it looks like rice. I think it's a combination of rice and meat. So add some sour cream. Yeah. Some hot sauce. Yes. I think it's hot sauce. Yep. Here we go. It does have that sauerkraut cabbagey taste. And then just a nice texture with the meat, rice. A little bit salty. It is good with the chilli sauce. The chilli sauce is nearly fermented. Like it has a fermented sort of taste to it. Mm, I like it. It's really nice. Also, because it's so busy, walk away from the restaurants a little bit and come down to the middle where you can find these little stand-up bars here. There's no one here. Easy to get seat. All right, so we did our best. We did. Couldn't we couldn't get through, get through it. it. No, we couldn't. So this market is massive. We're upstairs now, and we're going to head down and check out what's down the bottom. Whilst wandering the Central Market Hall, we bumped into Hannah and Trey from the YouTube channel Probably Lost. They're from Nashville, USA, and they're the absolute best, so head on over to their YouTube channel and check them out. Downstairs, you've got your typical market, like produce, stands that are selling fresh fruit, vegetables, cheeses, meats, and things like that. Upstairs, you've got all the restaurants. So it's kind of like a cafeteria style. You've got um, all the little stands that you can choose from. Most of them are Hungarian cuisine. afternoon and we are doing one of the most popular things to do here in Budapest. We're doing a cruise along the beautiful Danube River. Danube River is the second largest river in Europe and it flows through most of Central and Eastern Europe. So Vienna, Hungary, Moldova, Ukraine, a lot of countries. <laughs> so we're going to do a cruise along there and I'm so excited to see what the city looks like all the up at night. It's our trail! we're allowed to board yet we're just following another group and there's a lot of people standing up behind me i've got my ticket out so we'll see if it works yeah we were too early <laughs> we got told to sit back down we did too eager Hello. Good evening. Hello. this has started early we just boarded and got our first champagne Close it off here. Alright, let's shut it down. 